Have you ever wondered how wolves live in their pack? What makes their social structure so fascinating? Let's dive into the world of wolves, where a complex social hierarchy shapes their survival and lifestyle. In a wolf pack, each member has a role to play. At the helm, we have the alpha wolves, the leaders, the decision makers. They lead the pack during hunts and make vital decisions that ensure the pack's survival. Then come the beta wolves. These are the second in command, the assistants to the alpha. They are the ones who step up when the alpha can't perform their duties. At the bottom of this hierarchy, we find the omega wolves. They may seem less important, but they play a crucial role in maintaining social balance. They often act as peacekeepers and help alleviate tension within the pack. So, wolves are not just random predators, they are creatures with complex social dynamics. They live, hunt, and survive together, each contributing to the pack in their unique way. Indeed, wolves are not just random predators, but creatures with complex social dynamics. Can you imagine a world without wolves? How would their absence affect our ecosystems? The answer is profound. Wolves are not just majestic creatures. They are pivotal players in the theater of life. Their predatory nature helps keep the balance, controlling the populations of species like elk and moose, which in turn shapes the vegetation landscape. But their influence doesn't stop there. This cascade effect trickles down to smaller animals and even impacts waterways, creating a more diverse and robust ecosystem. Today, the necessity of their role is echoed in the concerted efforts to protect them. Conservation initiatives across the globe are working tirelessly to safeguard wolf populations and their habitats. From the wild expanses of North America to the remote corners of Europe and Asia, wolves are being given a fighting chance to reclaim their role in the wild. Wolves, it seems, are key guardians of our natural world. Are wolves really the villains they're often portrayed as? It's time to debunk some common misconceptions and shed light on the true nature of these misunderstood creatures. Contrary to popular belief, wolves are not the bloodthirsty beasts found in fairy tales. They are in fact shy and cautious animals that tend to avoid humans whenever possible. Yes, they are skilled predators, but they primarily hunt to survive, not for sport. Another myth that needs busting is that all wolves are alpha wolves. In actuality, wolf packs operate more like human families, with parents leading the pack and their offspring following, rather than a strict hierarchy based on dominance and aggression. And the notion that wolves howl at the moon? Pure folklore. Wolves use howling as a means of communication, to assemble the pack, signal alarm, or share their location, not because they're lunar obsessed. In reality, wolves are far from the villains we often make them out to be. Understanding their true behavior helps us appreciate their role in nature's balance. How have wolves influenced human culture and folklore? Now, that's a question with a thousand answers. Across the globe, wolves have been painted with a broad brush, their image shifting and morphing within the canvas of human culture. In some societies, they are revered as symbols of strength and bravery, while in others, they're cast as cunning tricksters or harbingers of doom. From the ancient Romans, who believed the founders Romulus and Remus were raised by a she-wolf, to Native American tribes that considered wolves as spiritual guides, these majestic creatures have always held a place in our stories and beliefs. Even in modern times, wolves continue to captivate our imagination in literature and film, embodying a wild spirit that resonates with our own primal instincts. But these cultural depictions, while fascinating, are often colored by myth and misunderstanding. They shape our perception, for better or worse, influencing how we interact with these creatures and their natural habitats. Through the ages, wolves have woven a rich tapestry in our collective culture. Why do wolves howl? Is it just a haunting tune or a complex language? Let's delve into the science of this fascinating behavior. Wolves howl for a myriad of reasons, each howl unique as a fingerprint, each carrying a different message. It's their way of communicating across the vast wilderness, a unique dialect of the wild. When a lone wolf howls, it might be a call for companionship or a declaration of territory. Packs, on the other hand, often howl in harmony to strengthen social bonds and assert their presence. There are different types of howls, too. Some are soft and mournful, others loud and assertive. Each type conveys a different message, from a simple, I'm here, to a more complex, stay away, this is our territory. The howl of a wolf is a testament to their social complexity and survival instincts. It's a language that is both beautiful and functional, a symphony of wild voices echoing through the wilderness. Thus, the howl of a wolf is not just a call into the wild, it's a language of its own. Did you know there are several species of wolves far beyond the common gray wolf? Our planet is home to a fascinating array of wolf species, each uniquely adapted to their environment. 
From the icy landscapes of North America, we find the Arctic wolf, a creature of resilience and beauty, perfectly adapted to endure the harsh cold. Venturing into the dense forests of North America and Eurasia, we encounter the familiar gray wolf, known for its wide-ranging adaptability and its complex social structures. Journeying further south, the Mexican wolf, a subspecies of the gray wolf, makes its home in the arid landscapes of the American Southwest. Across the Atlantic, in the remote highlands of Ethiopia, resides the Ethiopian wolf, the world's rarest canid. This slender, fox-like wolf is a specialist, feeding primarily on the abundant rodents of its mountainous habitat. From the Arctic tundra to the deserts of Africa, wolves have adapted to thrive in a variety of habitats. The diversity of wolves illustrates the remarkable adaptability of this iconic creature. Ever heard of a famous wolf? Let's meet some wolves who've made history. Notable among these is Lobo, the king of Kurumpa, whose cleverness kept him safe from hunters until he met his end due to a tragic love story. Then there's Romeo, the friendly black wolf of Juneau, Alaska, who defied wolf stereotypes by playing with local dogs and charming the town's residents. Each wolf has a story to tell, some even echo in our history. Did you know your pet dog shares a deep genetic connection with wolves? That's right. The canine companions we hold dear today trace their lineage back to wolves. Through a process of domestication that unfolded over thousands of years, wolves gradually evolved into the diverse array of dog breeds we see today. These wild ancestors imparted survival instincts, pack behavior, and even their howl to our domestic dogs. In essence, every dog, no matter its breed, carries a bit of the wild wolf within.